Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophinet the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn, the Frozen Wild expansion. We're slowly running out of side quests to do, which is, well, not that big of a problem because we're already uh, 13 episodes into this uh, DLC series. But uh, in today's episode we're going to check out why a certain lake has become, well, extremely flooded. I think it's going to have to do something with this dam over here. There are a few snap maws in the area. Let's go take a look over there and see what we can find out. Because uh, we were contacted, well, we talked to a, a certain hunter. I forgot her name. But she told us that all of a sudden everything started to get uh, flooded. So something must have happened to the dam. Oh, gold. Yeah, we need to go to the center of the... Huh. To the center of the lake, of course. So let's just use the fire arrows. Okay then, just keep firing then. Jesus. Set it ablaze. Oh, wow, okay. Where are my potions? Where are my potions? Where are my potions? Shit, I forgot to stock up on potions. Okay, this is gonna be a bit harder than expected. Jesus. These guys are really armored as well. Jesus. Okay. Take it easy, buddy. Then let's put three arrows on the bow. And just take it out slowly. Make surely it take out a few components on its back. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now let's do that two more times. Yeah, there we go. I think I hit it there. I heard the think. Yeah, it's gonna explode. Bam! There we go. So that took the three snap mouse out of commission. Oh, there's another one over there, but I think I can now reach the... the area where, where I need to be. There is a lot less supplies here than I expected. Let me see in my inventory if I can't make a few potions. This must be the ruin Laolai was talking about. Deep in. Flooded too, like she said. Snap moss. Probably came from somewhere upriver. Follow the river, find its source. Seems simple enough. Okay, so... This is the ruin that actually has been submerged. We can't really see it right now. Din, okay. So we need to check where the river comes from. And see if we can figure out where this water is coming from. Wow, look at the sky. So we're right here at the bridge. I don't know what we're exactly looking for. But something... Must have caused the water to rise here. The river is running alongside it. So let's just follow it upstream, I suppose. This is a lovely river though. Holy crap, this thing looks cool. So that's the dam we've been seeing a few times now. Um, there is a facility on the other side, so I might actually be on the, the wrong side of the river here. It's still urging me to... Yeah, there we go. That must be where the water's coming from. Looks like something the old one's built. Bunny! So yeah, a dam, obviously. So let's take a look around here. There goes the squirrel. There is a campfire over here. Doesn't seem like there's any machines nearby. For now, at least. Grey catch. 
We need to go inside. There is a fire here, so somebody must have started it. It looks like somebody is actually somebody living here. Nearly blew this entire ledge off just to get through the door. Oh. Okay then. That was a button prompt. A bit of a cinematic. Is that gonna collapse behind me? Or is it yeah, it's just gonna be a transition between the flooding detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromise. The overflow basin. Is that the din? Probably. So this is getting interesting. So there is another system here that actually maybe also provided energy for the firebreak project. Not sure yet. Okay. Looks like a control center. What happened in here to start the water flowing? Is that supply box? No. Okay, so let's check it out. There's an audio diary here, and there's a person over there. You know the songs. Um, Dear nobody, as far as I can tell, that's who's going to read this. Those spooky guys showed up today with that creepy Blevins to take measurements of our workstations. And next week they start installing Pharaoh servitors to do our jobs. Bye bye Shelly, bye bye Laura, see you never. Hope you enjoy your basic income. God, it's going to be weird to say goodbye to this place. When Quentin and I split, this was all I had. Thank God for a job where I could sit at a panel and press buttons and cry all day. Which I think is why we're doing this. Hiding the tapes of our rehearsals in the dam. These tapes are our memories, our ghosts. Through them, we get to haunt this place, keep it human in some small way. This control room was where I was sitting when Laura came in dragging an old practice amp and a guitar behind her. Shells, she said. Girl. So I was looking at schematics for this place and I found the perfect practice space. The acoustics in this place, seriously bonkers. Like echoing through the entire valley kind of bonkers. Legit, you're going to soil yourself when you see it. I remember asking, practice space? Peace, Shelly. Okay. Drainage system of line. But there's somebody over there. Gilden? Don't know what she is doing here. Drainage system offline intake tower malfunction. Okay. Seems to be stuff here Another as well. Graphic interface. The lock positions. Helpful. Okay, but they're not enabled. I can't interact with them right now, right? So the lock positions are right over here. But I can't access them. Yet. Is there any clue as to how these, these are? Wires must run to the power source. Yeah. So they're going over there. Runs to the door, obviously, but can't scan the device from over anything, here. But this room looks like it's packed with old stuff. Might be something useful. It might be, but then we need to open up that door. Aha, wait. wait. That's probably not good news. Looks like most of the facility is underwater. How did this happen? So we're still not much the wiser. So this thing is offline. There's somebody down there and there's a bunker door that's closed. There seems to be two things here, right? I should be able to shut this place down from here. Ugh, someone made a mess of this. If I had the right parts, I'll bet I could get it working again. Ah, so I needed to interact with this panel twice now. What are the parts I'm gonna need then? Okay, if I so... I find something, maybe my focus can. So I needed to check this thing apparently, the final one that was out, if I can actually access it. Piece is missing. Not getting in here without it. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Not that long ago either. I can pry open the door here. I've 
Okay, so it seems like there's only one person in here and not... Okay, seems... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's open up the door. Hi. Gildan, so that's the guy. <laughs> you don't know how happy you just made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. The forge gone cold. But nope, nope. Not old Gildan. So, an also ram? You're welcome. What were you doing uh, over here? Wait, start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. When you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's it's from the wall beside the door. No luck. So I had to go at that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to... You broke everything. What? So I pushed the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. Now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. And when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. By the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. <laughs> and thusly do we come to the present moment. So basically, basically you broke everything and then started yelling for help. You Great. said something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is brimming with treasures from the old ones. But one in particular caught my eye. An intricate looking glass. I've only seen one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from, from wherever she'd gone to that time. I remember holding it, staring into its face, seeing myself and my mother just over my shoulder, smiling. And one of these looking glasses. It's in the storage room. Oh, yes. I'm quite sure. I peered into that dim little chamber and there it was. I've wanted to find one for so long, I... Yes, this time I'm sure I have. I'm wondering what he's talking about, but yeah. Where exactly did you drop that ring? Well, there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring. It's part of the locking mechanism that controls the door. You don't say. Well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even. You've got two hands. I've got two hands. Perfect. <laughs> my savior, my salvation. And if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will. My accomplice. <laughs> Together, that ring is as good as ours. And with it, the storage room and its spoils. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well, I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity to the proceedings. He has a way with words, doesn't he? What about the broken panel? So you found the button that controls the flow of water. <laughs> quite by accident. And then you broke that button. Also, quite by accident. The panel's the only way to shut this place down, as far as I can tell. This isn't gonna be easy. That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. So basically we need to get the ring to get into the storage room and then get the supplies we need from the storage room to fix the button and get the water levels to normal again. So, we need to replace that ring. Yeah, okay, it's just exactly what I just then said. I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Gildan. How are we going to get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl, two sets of hands. Behind us lie a pair of enormous gates, but I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started then. I guess we better. Okay. Talk to the Osorab. Yeah, we kind of have a buddy now. Quarters, no way I'd be able to swim. This looks almost Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. 
There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would you mind heading across and uh, doing the honors? Okay. Seems like we're gonna have to go around instead of across. You know, I'm reminded of the job I undertook out near the plane. A stone ruin. He's a talker, isn't he? I really need to stop jumping off things. You don't suppose that's what they were for, do you? Why would the old ones want to cut? Marvelous! You made it. Okay, he keeps now talking. Grab that valve and give it a spin. Grab that valve. Okay. A little more now, and I should be able to get the blasted gate moving. Okay, so we're closing off Man, the water supply here. You should be able to lower here. the gate. Huh? Right you are. Now, when I get this gate down, you'll need to turn the valve again. How to lock this thing in place. Okay, so once it's down completely, we need to turn this uh, again. There we go. And there goes the water. How does he actually know that? That it works like that? One gate down. Not that Halfway I'm complaining. Through, then, aren't we? To the second gate. Okay, so what is this? This was something before, the emergency... Ah, so he's, he's pulling it now. A ladder is a rare and special thing, girl. Can depend on it to take you exactly where you need to go, and no further. He's really, really talkative. I mean, mm. taking I over everything. I the for the second slew skater somewhere above it. How are we gonna get up there? Let me look around, see what I can find. Uh, oh god! Nice jump! <laughs> nice! What am I saying? That was stupendous! I've never seen such absolute disregard for personal safety! Thanks, <laughs> I think. Uh... The current's too strong. I can't swim against it. It's even less refreshing than it looks. Wait, where oh, the hell close, am I? Girl. Just spring across the gap! Okay then. That was weird. And there we go. Ah, you're right above me. Just send that ladder on down. Okay. Lower emergency ladder. Look out below. I gotta take back my words a little bit. It's not as hard Should be as, as Tomb Raider is. Just if following the path the and side, flipping some switches. The same way on this side. I should look for an access tunnel. Yep. Let's get every uh, medicinal thing I can get along the way. And then it looks like indeed it's kind of a mirror image of the uh, other pathway we did before. No. No, no, it's not. We need to go over here. Through a sort of air vent, I suppose. Again, a very, very large air vent, but something. I love how the vegetation is really green in here, as opposed to the the frost outside. Okay, so that's the other side of the maintenance tunnel. I'm dropping down before I kill myself. No. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Did she just swan dive off the... Okay then, I'm not complaining. That was interesting. I'll tuck that away. A more uh, mushrooms. There we okay, go. Gildan, turn the valve. It's not working. Damn thing's too heavy. Glance behind me, would you? See anything big and uh, broken? Um. Look for the counterweight. Oh yeah, the counterweight Looks is like up. Part of the counterweight broke off. If I can get up there, my weight might be enough to get it moving again. Uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. Seriously? I to get up higher. Could climb up that wreckage. That's pretty much what I do. There we go. Can't climb up further. And then all the way up. 
there. And then to the right. Should get us pretty much at the council weight. I can't wait from here. But I could climb higher, get above it. So over there. Up, up and away. Repel down, okay? The I'm kind of dropping Going it down, down, but I'm hoping that's gonna hold because once I jump off here, my weight is gonna be gone. Okay. Uh, got it. We're good to go. Are we? You're not doing anything, Aloy. She's just standing you there. Sight to see. Oh, there we go. Bounding from metal rust trap to metal rust trap. <laughs> Still a bit of water, but low enough, wouldn't you say? Now then, uh, where's that wreck? Good question. Well, at least I should be able to swim now. Snap more. It's a snap more. Very, very big snap more. I see it, Gildan. Very big, very, very big. Demonic snap mod. So I think I can actually start lighting it on fire from over here. Why would I ever go down there now? Okay, that was completely not where I aimed at. Uh. There we go. Kind of hit it down there. I think there's a pathway over here, yeah. And then down the stairs. Okay, he's just leaving. Oh, it's stunned. Yeah, okay. Can't do anything from here now. There we go. Tell me when it's dead, would you? It's dead. <laughs> Marvelous. So, the uh, ring. Maybe if you pry its jaws open and reach inside you right. can't look this thing there we go swallow the ring <laughs> that's the old gildan intuition in action it's never led me astray sure it's chosen routes can be a bit circuitous but we drained enough water never mind we need to, to the do. storage room to the spoils I, if I could empty out the whole dam we probably could Pipes, valves maybe i can drain the rest of the water from here Yes, indeed. So, could use my focus. See what it turns up. Yeah, yeah, Eloy. Right. I, I know. Time to get the flow going to the right place. I say this as a man typically Damaged enamored valve. of complexities, but oh, this looks like a. Yo, Shelly, I'm trapped in servitor hell over here. Got in this morning and, as usual, led one half-baked chrome doll who was bumping up against the locked entry door in the reservoir room moaning about requiring entry into the totality of the facility. Between its robot voice and those weird grindy sounds its limbs make, the acoustic reminded me of a track from one of the less accessible German post-punk bands. I've told them and told them, every night the pipe network decouples so that the reservoir can refill and every morning it has to be reset manually. All you have to do is turn the valve thingy so that the water flows directly to the pump, the rest of the servitor seems to get it, but this guy won't stop bugging about, bugging out. I mean, I know we're supposed to be on-site advisors, but this is getting ridiculous. Do I have to scratch the instructions into their stupid, shiny faces? Don't worry, I think I've got this. Music to my ears, to each job its proper tool. 
Toothpicks make horrible arrows, as the saying goes. Um. Okay, so if I turn this like that, then like this. You got a competent mind, girl. A mind for nuance and finesse. Not I. No, indeed. Not old Gildan. So it's basically the same thing as with the light, uh, except that now we're doing it with water. Got it working, did you? <laughs> of course you did. Never met a conundrum you couldn't unconundrum, have you? The door's open. Guess it is sealed because of the flooding. This must go down to the lower level. So well, since we're still here. Why don't we just keep going then? Because I'm, I'm thinking this is almost so done. Looks like that's everything. Drummer's that? weapon we coil. Smells like a forge side morning in the claim. Where are we now? Are we back where we killed the snap maw? Looks like it. There's still a piece of it over here. Let's take the ladder up and I'll see you guys in so a second. Circle back around to the matter of the or not. Room? I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait! So, all the way back to the control room. Almost there! With Gildan, so that means we only need to set the ring back in its oh, no, place. The looking glass in my hand. And open up the storage room. So let's replace the emitter over here. There we go. And then... Um, counterclockwise... Uh, That's good. What, um, what are you doing with your hands there, girl? And then up and right. So that's clockwise. There we go. And open up the door. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I thought you'd lost your mind tickling the empty air like that. Tickling the empty air like that. So there's a few things we can loot here. Let's listen to this first. Farewell tour. Where is it? Where did it go? I mean, this is it. We get to play together, what, maybe two more times? Nah, shells. Farewell tour. Reunion tour in like six months. They had stood all the time. I could have sworn I saw one in here. adoring fan. It's not that hard to stay in touch, Shelly. We could practice in hollow space. People always say that. Okay, so they really, really liked each other and then... Had to split. Dear nobody, we got in a fight, Laura and I. After practice, we went out for drinks. There's this row bar in downtown Cody, so we called an auto car and shuttled over. We were the only people there, with the park closing Cody's becoming a ghost town. The more we drank, the more passive-aggressive our banter became, snowballing out of control. Metastasizing. Metastasizing. In the empty air between us and then before either of us really knew what was happening, we were yelling at each other. I kept thinking like, I'm not abandoning her, she's abandoning me. And I guess she was probably thinking something similar. We got quiet for a while, drank more. Eventually Laura ordered an auto car and we piled into it, slid as far from each other on the back seat as we could, arms crossed staring out the window. And then I heard myself talking, screw it, I don't care if you stay in touch with me, I'm going to stay in touch with you. Whether you like it or not, you're not getting rid of me, ever. Laura look looked at me for what felt like ages, I thought she was going to start yelling, but then her hand crept over mine and we just sat there together. Bottoms up, Shelly. That was a, a nice bit of uh, story. Let's take a look around here. So there's stuff all over the place. And Gildan is freaking out because he can't find what he what he found before. Okay. Power cell. Let's fix the panel and shut this place down. And then there's there was something over here as well, right? Wasn't there? Apparently not. Let's talk to Gildan first. Gildan? 
Everything okay? I was so sure I saw it. The looking glass. I was so sure. That's a clock, dude. Right there in the window. I would... Of course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. Oh. I'm sorry, Gildan. It must have meant a lot to you. Oh, well. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. It's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Besides, what are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the Delve, not the treasure. Yeah, he's deflecting, and what clearly. what a Delve it was! Uh, by the great Blazing Forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I uh, believe we have some repairs to make. Yeah, we do. That was sad. Because he wants that artifact because it reminds him of his mother, of course. But uh, let's replace the power cell. There we go. And then push the button. Carefully. Carefully, Gildan. Carefully. Oh, Whee! that's a whole lot prettier, isn't it? <laughs> what does it mean? We fixed the dam, buddy. Means it worked. By the forge. Ha! You are oh. a wonder. Do you hear that often? I'll hazard a guess you do. I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. Ha! It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encountered it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? We will, Gildan. We will. Okay, Overflow awkward too. Overflow basin empty. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. Sounds like the basin is dried out too. Well, let's take a look. Another adventure so soon? <laughs> You're braver than me. But well, there was no question of that. <laughs> So, with that done, we're going to take a little break before we continue on. So, we need to check out the Overflow Basin in the next episode. And then go back to Song's Edge and we'll talk to Gildan and uh, the, the poor girl whose name I've forgotten. That put us on to uh, this side quest to begin with. So, thanks enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye.